Eyes. I drew. I realised I need to unpick and I lost you all. So I'm hoping that you'll find me here. I did that annoying thing where it just cut out. But maybe by the time you've joined me, you won't, I'll be able to quickly unpick this. So in my waffle about my presentation, classic me, took the eye off the ball and I went straight past where I wasn't meant to. So just going to unpick that. And as you guys hopefully find me over here, you can tell the others to come here. Very annoying. I'm back. I'm back and I'm unpicking. This is not going well, guys. I was like, I was about to say when it cut off. That's it. I'm not talking anymore. I keep distracting myself. And then that would make it very boring for you guys, wouldn't it? I hate unpicking this sort of stuff. It's so annoying. Yay. We're back. We're back and I'm unpicking, guys. I basically chatting away about my presentation i forgot to stop sewing at my colored pins marking where my notches were so off i went all the way down anyway so that happens guys at home don't worry about it just unpick it and then now what i'm going to do is go back just before that first notch and just reinforce it so that it doesn't unravel anymore so a little reverse and then a big reverse where that notch is. Yeah, I should probably talk to my own picker as well as though it was a person, Deirdre. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Lorianne. Um, and then we're going to go back to that notch and just do a really good reverse there. all okay right let's get all this nice and neat I mean so far guys we've not really done anything round very king I'm really sorry <laughs> oh dear but anyway we've had a nice time well, I certainly have we've had some good chats today haven't we oh like some days we're really chatty other days we're more focused on the skills today is definitely a chatty day Right, I'm in also stupid, another thing, in my panic that I'd gone over, I also just stopped sewing on the seam. Hopeless. Let's finish that. It's a good thing these aren't present. Okay. So, I can now press these seams open and we have got to stitch down the seam allowance so that we can do ah, so that we can do um, our little, we can kind of um, create the little gap for where the, the tie is going to go through. So I'm going to put this on the machine, on the, sorry, the ironing board lay it out flat and then everyone would be pressing this open because if you guys were using woven fabric you would have overlocked these edges so that you could press this open there we go right so what I've done is where that little opening is there, I've kept this so pressed it open and then what we're going to do is going to do a rectangle of sewing around there just to reinforce that. But whilst I'm on the ironing board, I'm just going to press that seam open as well. I'm focused now guys, I'm going to actually try and look like I'm semi-professional. Right. Okie dokie. Is Jasmine excited for Christmas? She is. Bless her. She's very excited. She's very confused. Bless her. She's a bit confused about the cottage. and She's like, so how many Christmas trees am I going to have? I was like, well, actually, we're going to be having Christmas there, but we'll get a little Christmas tree for here in London as well. But yeah. And I asked her what she wanted for Christmas. And she said she wants a cot for her babies. She's so maternal. 
they're currently in like a, a painted box that I've got. Um, but she wants a proper cot. And the most important thing is not just a cot, but it has to have a pillow in the cot. So I'm going to put it onto straight stitch for this because we don't need to stretch in this part of the seam. So what I'm doing, I'm working from the right side and I'm going to go round this, where the, the, the gap in the seam is, I'm going to go round in a rectangle, pivoting across the seams like Ross from Friends. Um, <clears throat> and I'm sewing about five mils, maybe a little bit less actually, three or four mils around. So now I'm pivoting uh, and I'm going to go across over the seam, then needle back in and then lift a nut and pivot in. Oops. Sorry, I think there was a question there about Jazzy and I didn't see it. Sorry guys, I'm trying to now sew properly for you. I'm going to show you what this looks like afterwards because I think it'd be nice to see what we're aiming for. Try not to stretch it as well. give it a little press but I'll just cut these threads off and then I'll hold it up close to the camera so you can see there so when I press it it will stop it from looking a bit puckered but basically the stitching's just gone round there just to make sure it keeps that shape so to strengthen that so now that we've done those two things, I think we go on to the tie in the instructions, but let's just check. Do, do, do. Oh, you could go ahead and overlock the bottom of your hem, but we don't have to do that. Um, and that was done, Noella, yes, with a straight stitch. But then we are gonna go on to the ties. Okay, so we need to cut one down by 11 centimeters as well. So let's start the ties together. I don't know how much long, we've got about 15 minutes left. So we'll do that together. And we can, oh no, that's the facing. And then we'll be coming back tomorrow to do some more. Always a long tie. So we need to, yeah, cut one down. Now, this is assuming, guys, that you're doing the full wrap and you want a big long the wrap to come all the way around your waist. But you might not want that and you might just want to have it tying there. So to explain what I mean by that, so try not to trip up, is that you could, you could put, you don't have to have it coming round there. I like that because, you know, I like an old cinched in waist, even in pyjamas. You could just have your tie fastening there, like that, for pyjamas. I mean, after all, these are pyjamas. So if you want to do that, then you're not going to have need anywhere near as long a tie. So that's just something to bear in mind with. But I know I do want to, so I'm just going to shorten one of the ties. Oh, have you done that already for me, Rosie? Oh, you have. Or, or Sojourner. Oh, wonderful. Don't need to do that then. These have been cut out for me by Rosie and her team, which has been great. So I don't have to cut out on top of um, the other bits and bobs that we're doing. And we can go and stitch it straight away. Oh, it was Sojo. Thanks, Sojo. Um, okay, so let's take one of them and we're going to place it right sides together. I think I know well, which is the right side of this fabric. I can tell it is actually more obvious than I thought. The right sides together and we're just going to pin it down the long edge and also a short edge as well. Just lining up your edges there. Oh, thank you, Sal. That's so kind of you to say. The um, So, yes, I think there was some chat about letters for Father Christmas. I know, Jazzy's too little to be writing a letter. Obviously, she can't write. She's only three. Um, 
but and actually normally I wouldn't ask her what she wants um, because Father Christmas is going to be getting her a little bike one of those bikes that kind of steadies itself so it's not got stabilizers on it I can't remember what you call it um, but then you know I've sort of had you know from mum and dad and various people like what else does she want and so I've sort of said the you know classic mum thing more well, books we need more books and you know um, and then I uh, but then I thought you know what I should ask her see what she wants so balance bike thank you Tina my sister's children have them they're amazing so yeah mm -hmm. okay just carrying on down there but yeah I really wanted to make her a dress for Christmas day I don't know if I'll have ch a chance I am going to take some time off um before Christmas I'll have a week off actually before the Christmas week but I'm just not sure No, he does not write back by Royal Mail. Oh my goodness. Royal Mail, write back. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll have a chance. But anyway, we maybe I will. Maybe I'll make something, because obviously the Daisy dress in the Poppy and Jazz collection is great. Um, so yeah, there's some interesting chat going on about Royal Mail now. I don't want to miss it. Um, yeah, she'd need to wear a cardi with that, wouldn't she? Sometimes my mum gets her a Christmas dress anyway. Maybe now that she knows that we'll be together, she'll get her and her niece, her cousin rather, Nina, a matching dress. Really, I should be making her something. Okay. So, we're now going to stitch these together. Now, I just want to check. The seam allowance is a centimetre, so three eighths of an inch, guys. So I've pinned one of my ties together. We're going to go across the top edge. We'll leave the bottom edge open. So we'll cross one of the short edges and then pivoting down and stitching down the long edge. And then we'll need to put a, a needle inside um, so that it, I'm going to, sorry, change this back to zigzag. We need to put a, a sewing safety pin inside and pull it all through. not to stretch it when you're handling the jersey, being delicate with it. I should say as well, we haven't changed the size of this. I'm making, I haven't gone down a size because it's pajamas. We don't want them to be worried. About. But obviously, if you're in between sizes, you could go down a size and you'd probably be fine if you're making a viscous jersey. What is going on there? There is a thread. It's caught cool up there. Let me just cut that off. There we go. No. No. The um, edge of this is starting to put it in. There we go. Much better. It's just feeding through the little gap in my presser foot. A sew quake and it's coming across to you guys. I'm sewing it so fast, I'm getting a bit of vibration.
okie dokie doodly. We've gone all the way down there. I'm just going to cut off that corner there. And then I want to do, try and do this with you guys before we end for today. Is get a safety pin. This is always a bit of a challenge. And just sometimes it's easier to put the safety pin in and then pull it out from inside. I'm going to try and do it this way. We'll see if it works. Um, so if you put the safety pin into the corner, so that's quite a strong, stable point, and then close it, and then you kind of need to t start to turn it inside out onto the, onto the um, safety pin. And it takes a, it's a bit of a fiddle, so I'm going to have to bring, so I do, try and do it down here. But once you get it turning in on itself, you can then just pull it through. <laughs> a bit fiddly first so kind of pulling pushing it down now I've managed to get it started you can see like that and then you push it down and then pull it up okay it's starting to work now so I've got something to grip on the inside which is the safety pin and then it's pulling it back through and once you get to the other end you can kind of pull it all out quite quickly until then, you've just got to sort of do it in sections, pushing it down, pulling it up like that, and pushing it down. Like that, getting quite a lot up, and then, like so. I'm very upset, guys, I've finished the crown. You know when you get a really good box set and you've finished it, and then you're like, how's my life going to be the same again now? It was only like a week or so. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's very good. I'm just going to create some gripping there because it's just, just to help me grip the fabric a bit better. We're almost done now, guys. So that's the easiest way of doing it. And I think sometimes with Jersey, you know, it feels like it's just going to be forever. So then, the, the challenging bit is now, because that's in the inside, you've got to undo that, and then um, you've got to be able to undo it and inside, and then unthread it. Let's see if I can do it with you guys. <laughs> bit of a fiddle. I think I've done it, but now, yeah, I've done it. Now I'm going to pivot it. Now I've got to get that closed without it doing that. That's the next challenge. I think if I could just get it back down so it's facing down, this would be easier. <laughs> easier said than done. We're now creating a funny shape like that. But basically, you need to pivot it to the bottom of the... Um, it's facing back down. There we go, like that. And then it, once it's in that position, you should very gently be able to just close it without it peeking off. But just have to be very, very careful. It's especially in fabric like this, it's just going to want to feed, poke itself through. I'm going to do it. I'm now determined to do it whilst you guys are there, but maybe that's a bad idea. No, he's not. I don't feel drop. You gonna drop down? No. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yay! Ta-da! Like magic, right, guys? So that's the tie. So the tie now needs to be pressed flat with the seam rolled to the edge. So you roll it between your fingers like that, and then press it flat on the uh, machine on the machine on the ironing board. So we've got another tie to do. I'm gonna try and do another tie before tomorrow. I've stopped doing homework in between these so longs just because I don't have the time, but I'm gonna do that. Oh yes, I'm watching The Queen's Gambit as well. Very good, thank you. It's not as good as The Crown, but it's still very good. Um, and then we're gonna be back finishing it off. So hopefully what we can do tomorrow is put the facing on, attach the ties and maybe put one sleeve in. And then we won't have done the trousers, but the trousers are really easy. Um, so, yeah. 
thank you so much for joining guys i'm sorry for all the ridiculousness of today me not being actually uh, that useful in terms of teaching you anything um but thank you for joining and i'm sorry that it cut out as well who knows why it does that but anyway thanks to rosie for answering all your questions thanks to everyone for chatting and joining in and for being here and i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock bye